I've often wondered just how good steret combination squares are. Some years ago I bought, some, I used one, and I, it's so beautiful I made a foam line box for it. Um, put it away and basically almost never used it um, because it's so beautiful. And I, I got a set of empire squares that I used for everyday use. And this little six inch one is really handy, but it's become hard to use because it sticks. It doesn't really hold a setting. So I last month bought this six inch Starrett to use for everyday use. Let me show you something. So here I've got the uh, 12 inch stare at my old well, my old one that I've never used basically uh, mounted in a vise and put the new 6 inch up against it and you can see that there's a huge difference in the angle. One of these guys is not square and I know which one it is and new to begin with and here let me demonstrate if I can can do this without being too shaky. Ten thousandths. It's ten thousandths gap. Ten thousandths. So that's the six inch new six inch Starrett. And here's my old Empire six inch. Dead nuts. So as I said, I'm very, I was always very interested in exactly how accurate the classic Starrett's, now we have got to call them, were, are, but never really had time to address it, even though I did have the equipment. So I'm going to change the setup and show you that. So here I have set up a granite surface plate and what's called a cylinder square, which is very accurately made. And... Um, <clears throat> a, a test indicator that's mounted on a indicator stand meant for testing squareness. This thing has a foot at the bottom. Let me zoom in a little. Has a foot on the bottom that contacts the bottom of whatever you're trying to test as square, and then the indicator at the top um, contacts it. The indicator to contacts it at the top. So I've got this adjusted. Let's see if this works so that we are at maximum here, which means full out. We're out as far as we can go. The, the uh, indicator goes clockwise as it's pushed in. So as I pull this out, the indicator goes counterclockwise. And this is a very sensitive indicator. So each number is one thousandth of an inch. That's one thousandth, that's two thousandth, etc. cetera. So I can check another place. I'm not sure. Let me zoom out. Yeah, that'll work. I'm going to check another place on this reference square just to show that it, it's repeatable. So as I adjust it to maximum, as I adjust it to maximum, you see we're at zero. All right, so let's go test our stare at 12 inch. like and we see we are approximately one thousandth of an inch off and um, to make this short I'm not going to flip the scale around I'll just tell you that I've tested all four orientations of the scale in the head and they're all about one thousandth off now this is at six inches height essentially so at 12 inches height the full length of the scale would be two thousandths off Plus or minus, the, 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 the different orientations vary whether they're out or in. But uh, two thousandths off at 12 inches, which interestingly, I just found out recently, is what Bridge City Tools claims for their fancy squares. <laughs>